Welcome to this video guide on hands up surveys. Hands up surveys are a simple and effective way to understand how pupils at your school travel and to measure the impact that your initiatives and activities are having. To begin with, contact your local authority officer to let them know that you'd like to promote active travel at school and ask them for a hands up survey template. To complete Motive Stars accreditation, you'll need to complete hands up surveys for at least 80% of pupils at your school and 50% of staff, including part time and full time. A simple way to complete your pupil surveys is to hand out a form, just like this one, to each teacher and ask them to complete a survey at the start of the school day. The class teacher will need to ask two simple questions to the pupils in their class. How do you usually travel to school and how would you prefer to travel to school? Make a tally for the number of pupils in each of the boxes and make sure that your totals add up to the same amount in the boxes at the bottom. As a school champion, you can then collect in all the results and add them to the Mocha Stars website. For the staff hands up survey, a staff meeting at the start of term will be a great opportunity to do this, as it will also give you an opportunity to explain your plans for promoting active travel throughout the term and throughout the year. So you could do this in the same way, asking the two simple questions, how do you usually travel to school and how would you prefer to travel to school? Tally up the results in each box and then I'll show you how to add these to the Motive Stars website. You'll need to do at least two surveys each year, one at the start of term in September and another towards the end of the summer term. And this way you'll be able to see the impact that your activities and initiatives are having throughout the year. Once you've got your survey results back, you're ready to upload them onto your Motive Stars school page. So to do this, firstly you need to log on to Motive Stars. If you don't know how to do this already, check out the video guide on the YouTube channel. To add in a new survey, go to the cog button in the top right hand corner, where you can add any new information. And for this, we need to go onto the Add Survey for School button here. On this page, you can fill in the date of your survey. Let's say we did it at the start of the school term and it was on Thursday the 10th of September. You can then add in the information class by class or put all the results together into a whole school survey. So for this, I'm gonna say that I've put all the information together and I'm gonna add information for the whole school. So I'll go on to student, the name of the class, I'll put whole school. and we'll say there's been six pupils absent today. You can then fill in the data simply into these boxes. I've completed all the boxes and the numbers at the bottom add up. So I'm ready to click the save button. I can see that all the information that I've put in has been saved. So I need to go back to the school homepage by clicking on either the arrow here or the Mocha Stars logo in the top left hand corner. Our pupil surveys have been uploaded, so let's upload the staff surveys. As before, you need to click on the cog button in the top right hand corner and once again click add survey for school. Let's say the date of the survey was the first staff meeting back in September. So we'll say that was on Monday the 7th of September. And you can either put in the staff results individually or it's a bit simpler to do it collectively. So let's go collective. As before, you can then input the results into the boxes here. I've filled in the boxes and the totals add up and it's also more than 50% of the number of staff in the school. So I've done this and I'm ready to click save at the bottom. My results have been saved so I can go back to the school homepage. This time I'll click on the arrow button. Now you can see that the survey tabs have been added to the Motive Stars school homepage. So if I click on this one here, Appendix 1 All Surveys, and if I want to see again the results of my survey, I can click on this Fold button here. From this page we can make some observations that will help us plan our initiatives for the term. So for example, in this page here, we can see that car is the most popular form of transport 
followed by walking. And then other modes, such as cycling, scooting and public bus, are significantly further behind. But if we look at how pupils would like to travel to school, walking is the highest, with scooting and skating, car and cycle quite close behind. So this could suggest that there is a lot of interest for scooting and cycling to school, so it would be worth putting on some of these activities. We can also see that nobody has said that they park and stride to school. And this could be because they don't understand what a park and stride is. So you could begin the school term by handing out five minute walking zone maps, which you can create on the Motive Stars website. This would encourage all parents who drive to school to park outside the five minute walk zone and travel actively the final part of the way with their children. This is a great and simple way to target parents who do feel they need to drive to park a bit further away and make that area outside of school safer. Let's do the same for our staff survey. So from the school homepage, we'll click Appendix 1 again, and this time we'll click on the folder button next to the staff survey. As with the pupil surveys, you can see that car use is the most popular mode of travel at this school, followed by walking. But if we look at how the staff would prefer to travel to school, you can see that walking is the highest, and a number of people would prefer not to use the car. An interesting point with this survey is that car share is at zero, even though 10 members of staff said they would like to travel this way. So one thing you could do at the start of the term is to encourage more members of staff to car share together. So that might be having a discussion with people who live in similar areas and perhaps handing out some prizes or incentives to those members of staff who regularly travel by car share. Similarly, you can see that park and stride levels are at zero in this survey too. And a great way to encourage a whole community effort to increase levels of sustainable and active travel would be to encourage staff to also park five minutes away from school and walk the final distance. So once you've completed your surveys and uploaded them onto the Motive Stars website, take a moment to think through and make some initial observations, and these will help you to plan for your activities this term. If you've been promoting active travel for a number of years, you'll be able to see this pupil travel modal shift button here. Now, if we click on this, This button is really helpful for showing how your travel modes have changed throughout the years. So for example, in this school, we can see that at the beginning, they had around 54% of pupils walking to school, and that has now gone up to 63%. You can see that cycling at this school began with just 1% of pupils, and is now up to nearly 5% of pupils. And if we scroll along, to the section that says car percentage, you can see that when they began promoting active travel, around a quarter of pupils, around 25% travel by car. And this has dropped significantly to around 13% now. So as you continue to promote active travel at school and fill in these hands up surveys, you can see how car use and other travel modes have changed, increased or decreased throughout the years. By the end of this video, you will be ready to complete your own hands up surveys for pupils and staff at school and then upload them onto your Motive Star school homepage. If you would like to look at an alternative way to complete the hands up surveys, you can see this in the guidance tab. There is a folder here saying how to conduct a whole school hands up survey. You may wish to look at this to help you as well. I will look forward to seeing the results of your surveys. Do check out the other videos on the YouTube channel to help you on the next step of your journey towards accreditation.